Hello Mech Warriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of Mech Warrior Online, where we are playing the Boombringer. This year Hellbringer has a boomstick on the right shoulder, as well as some backup lasers on the other side, and it is just glorious. Why? Because, you know, it's a Hellbringer. It is a 65-ton clan-heavy mech that has high mounts and access to ECM. And that's uh, what we're gonna abuse today. Or let's say, we're gonna make use of it. Now, the cool thing is that we have, uh, again, the high mounts. We can peak at mid-range with this build here, and that's because our Ultra Auto Cannon 20, as you can see, has an optimal range of 360 meters base, plus some skills that we applied on top of that, so we shoot at 400 meters optimal range. We can shoot beyond that, so if we shoot at 600, we still deal half of our damage, which is absolutely fantastic. We also have some ER medium lasers, four of them to be more specific, that also shoot at about 460 meters optimal range, so you have a nice mid-range build here, and since we are using the Hellbringer Prime Torso, we also have access to ECM, which is absolutely fantastic, because if the enemy enemies can see you, I mean, cannot log on to you, they are less likely to shoot you, which means uh, you can just lay down waste and lay down fire and just deal so much damage over time because you're just not contested all the time. It is kind of different when you're the only target. So if you are sticking out too much then uh, and your friends are not around, then you have a problem. And if you're getting pushed by a pack of light mags, you also have a big problem. So try to stick to the team and, and just be a little bit off side of them, you know? Um, the rest is just four tons of ammo. We have a good chunk of heat management here. 18 double heat sinks keep the mech actually quite cold. And uh, if you ever run into heat problems, then just wait a little while. The thing is, our ultra auto cannon, we always want to double tap them because we want to fire and burn and then pull back so it's kind of a peaking mech that we have here and uh, therefore um, you will eventually jam that auto cannon and you have a kind of a cooldown period anyway naturally we have some um, uh, we have not some but we have less armor on the arms here and that's just because we don't need them everything is torso or leg mounted here which means that we can save a lot of weight by stripping down the armor from the arms and we're gonna put it to better use by adding again better heat management or more ammo so therefore this build is it's just beautiful it works for me like a charm you will see that in the games. Let's talk about the skills here before we get into the games and as you can see this one is heavily heavily tilted towards firepower because I wanted to be able to shoot as often as possible and we're gonna take the obvious choices here. We're gonna take magazine capacity and UAC jam duration for our big boomstick and we have laser duration for our lasers obviously. On top of that we have a good chunk of heat gen as well as cooldown and a bit of range. By the way, those two range nodes are kind of optional. I don't think that you necessarily need them. You could actually go for a bit more cooldown and put the last point into something else, like velocity, for example. I like to do that, actually. So um, this would be a, probably a better better build because the velocity helps you with your auto cannons. Uh, very, very slow firing or slow traveling slugs. We have uh, nothing in terms of armor. Our armor is our ECM. We also have maximum heat containment, maximum cool run, so we can fire as often as possible. Speaking of ECM, we need that. We need both ECM 1 and 2 in order to make it work properly. Otherwise, your ECM only shields you at a very long range, and we need to make that so that the enemy sensor range uh, on us is kind of very minimal. Therefore, we need those ECM 1 and 2. Double cool shot plus UAV keeps us kind of uh, cold, and that is it, guys. That's the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing the Terra Therma. We have a heat buildup of 30% only coming from our lasers, but um, the, the auto cannon will add some on top of that. I'm not shooting it right now because I want to save my ammunition, of course, and uh, I want to bring it to my enemy's armor instead of to the terrain. So, what are we doing, guys? We are... Uh, actually, we have the good spawn here, the, the good-ish spawn. We are going to the Gulf 6 area. Enemies will most likely come from the Fox 7, Fox 8 or Gulf 8 area here. So we will fight in the kind of center area in Gulf 7 into Gulf 8 or into Fox 7, depending on where our enemies are going to show up. So that being clear, we have a Spider 5D with ECM, so that's great. He could act as a scout, and I really hope that he is giving us some information of where our enemies are actually going, so we can adjust early on. And I want to set up somewhere with my ECM so that I, um, yeah, that I can shoot them freely without even getting return fire, hopefully. Nobody seems to be in Gulf 8. That is good to know. It's Fox 7. Yeah, let's go. So, heat vision on. Hail spawn is there. We have some other people. Uh-huh. I, I got hit by double ultra auto cannon 10 huntsman. Interesting. Hell spawn is still there. And I mean, we can shoot at that range. A uh, bit of a stray shot there, but that's okay. Oh, they're pushing towards Fox 7 hard. There are lots of people coming. Uh, we need to suppress those guys now in order to make them not push too hard into our firing line here. But this firing line is gonna be really good if we can maintain it. 
Alright, so adjusting the aim while he's jumping. Dodged it like a boss, and now it's time to give him a little bit more uh, hell. Actually, let's go for night vision. I think in this range uh, it is better in this situation here. There he is again. No, that's the uh, linebacker from earlier. So yeah, the heat buildup again, it is okay. We can deal with that. We have not a big issue here. Should have actually shot. I don't know why I was waiting. King Crab needs some darker. Is he adjusted now to me? Nope. Um, and that's a jam. So I pressed the cool shot in order to hit again. But uh, unfortunately, my auto cannon was jammed at that point. But it's now fresh again. All right, let's give him hell. Keep him suppressed there in the Fox 7 area, guys. Hold that firing line and we win the game. All right, let's go for the Banshee. Could have actually shot my auto cannon. But the King Crab is a better target because it's a more obvious target. And of course, oh, hello. Uh, yeah, they are pushing in now. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not great, man. That's my side torso. Uh, there is a stealth Thanatos in the back shooting Gauss rifle, so take him out. Um, uh, is he stealth or is he just ECM? He's just ECM. Uh huh. Let's give him hell. Because we are the Hellbringer. We're gonna bring some. Um, I mean, is this still, is this still working? I'm not feeling comfortable with my right side torso exposed like that. It's not feeling great, I gotta say. Alright, we're gonna peek in once more. Very carefully. Alright, uh, they're pulling back, guys. They probably go to Fox 6 soon. Means we can actually push forward. When they are moving, they are not shooting. Uh, and out of here. And we don't need... Oh, we're not allowed to lose that... <laughs> to lose that uh, side torso there. It's super important. I also will pull back a little bit. I want to change my position to a better spot. I will lose range, which means uh, optimal damage. But that's okay, because they are making a move forward, so we're gonna try to take another ridge in order to uh, not get hit so hard. Also, low signal here. Means we have somebody in our flanks. Mm, yeah, I think it is a good idea to not go there. No, no, no. They, they can they can handle it. Let's stay on the firing line. It's more important. Or is it? I don't know. Our ECM is countered, so they will know that I'm here when I peek. That's not great. Here comes the linebacker. I don't want to brawl with this thing. Proceeds to brawl. <laughs> no, we're just peeking here. We're not really going all in. So the Huntsman is there. We have one casualty. We have a kill. No, wait, we have two kills. It wasn't a casualty. It was two kills now. Perfect. Uh, you can deal with the cat. Come on, dudes. You can do that. You have four, no, three mechs there that are easily capable of doing the thing that is right. Got the component destroyed. That, was, that is what I wanted. And we have a jammed autocannon, sadly. Okay, so it's laser time, I guess. So, auto cannon, come back, please. We need you. Uh, keep him suppressed, guys. It's super important. Also, again, a jam. Also, my ECM is countered once more. I don't know. Was I hit by a PPC or is that an enemy with an active probe right in front of us? All right, got it. So, it's probably the backer of lines here. Uh, they are making desperate pushes now. They are not going to get anywhere with that. No. Let's get him. Right. And, uh, guys, so come on, let's wrap it up. Let's kill them all. And, uh, you know what? We're gonna go in at this point. Uh, there is the Thanatos from earlier. And his Gauss rifles are down, and he's basically dead. Yeah! With the Gauss explosion kill! Ha ha ha, I love it. <laughs> nice. Alright, so, I mean, enemies are focused on me now, but I think at this point, uh, we are almost out of ammo anyway. And we might as well just, just go for it now, right? Get him! Another kill! Man, this mech is so good! I love it, the Hellbringer, it's just such a beautiful mech, guys. The ECM is so helpful, you can really, really feel it here. Uh, that we are not really center of attention for our enemies. Trying to dodge it. And the range of the autocannon syncs up so well with our lasers. So, last guy is down there, up here. And we are down to four shots, basically, so we use all of our ammo. That is so crazy. And that's the last shot with the last kill here. Perfect, guys. That is how you hold a firing line, especially when the enemies are coming from Fox 7, because there's a big choke point, and they have not much cover when they want to cross open terrain. So, yeah, we held it. We won. And as I was saying, it's kind of the better spawn that we had there. The enemies had the worst, but they could have gone around Gulf 8 to actually counter that. Anyway, we got five kill most damage dealt here. We got three killing blows, eight assists, 880 damage done, as well as nine components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down.
Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We definitely, definitely shoot the lucky eye. And I do believe that enemies will be coming from the left side. But uh, yeah, nobody is really in, in range or in line of sight. So that means we're going to go up on the high ground as quicker, uh, as quick as possible, as quickly as possible. Man, adverbs. It's kind of difficult. And uh, yeah, we're going to go to Echo 5-ish because my team seems to move very much to the right side. Do we take top, guys? Question mark. Let's see. Also, we're gonna watch this ramp because enemies might be pushing there. People say yes, so that's good. And that means we're gonna we're gonna go there. I trust my people, so let's go. Heat vision. Somebody here? No? Good. Somebody here? No? Good. Actually, I think there was somebody. Uh yeah, I think there there was somebody trying to get there. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, oh jumping broiler. Hello. Alright, uh, let's get a Kodiak there. Yo, 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 yo. Actually. Oh, that's beautiful. So we're gonna just very briefly expose ourselves. We don't want to stare them down. We want to make sure that we are not getting shot so much. Can we get another angle? That's the question. I, I really want to, but I don't... I shouldn't. Actually, that's a guy that we can shoot. So, just with the lasers here, our autocannon obviously did not really succeed. But, uh, yeah, there are missiles coming. How many people do we have on top? Actually, yeah, we have quite a few here. That's great. That is very, very good. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna go for the Beagle. Am I, though? Maybe I'm gonna go for Mr. Kodiak. Oh, this Kodiak is so tasty, but I don't dare. I don't dare peeking here. Because that, yeah, would have been really bad for me. Also, my ECM is countered now, which is kind of uh, bad. I'm also blocked. Not good. Okay, got that guy. And a bit more damage. The Kintaro is almost down. Oh, that's a broiler. Is that a broiler from earlier? It's definitely a supernova. Where would you go? Back or forth? I'm the one on the front line right now, and I don't like it. So we're gonna take uh, take another spot, I would say. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Take my left arm. I'm gonna go here because my team is not taking the high ground anymore. I was an obvious target, and therefore I, I had to go. Sadly. Sadly. I wish I could have stayed there. Uh, but we couldn't. Guys, uh, we don't have the top anymore. I wonder why. <laughs> I mean, I kind of wonder why we gave it up. Uh, but we can do something like that. That's a ghost. It's gonna hurt. I cannot twist away from it. So I'm gonna present my front. My direct front. Uh, the Mad Cat is almost down. It's golf. Can we get him? Bit more aggression, guys. Let's go. Um, just wrap around him and kill him all. Okay, so here we go. Uh, get the Mad Cat, please. That guy has to go. Well done. Now the Kodiak is almost down, guys. One shot. Come on. Alright, and now the Archer in the back who's trying to get the high ground. Or oh, the Supernova. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Nova. The very, very big super, super Nova. And that is my side torso destroyed. How dare you destroying my torso like that? Oh, man. Yeah, it seems like we are taking it extremely slow in this game here. Which is, I mean, it's okay. But I, I'd rather have the enemies out a little bit faster. Uh, I mean, we have the autocannon still. We're probably gonna get shot a lot now. Left side torso is gone. It's just... It's just that, you know, I, I see an opening, and I'm like, yeah, we can take things now from that opening, or because of that opening, and then there is nobody following on that opportunity. That's just it. But okay, so, we should probably also still shoot our lasers, since we have them. And we are kind of cooking now, which is... Bad. Alright! I didn't think, honestly, I was like, okay, I overstepped my boundaries a little bit. I was waiting for the thing to come down again. I should have just uh, shut down at that point. Okay. <laughs> I mean, cooking with the Hellbringer. What better thing could we do today? Uh, again, I was kind of baffled by the, the amount of overheat that we would get. But it's okay, the game is over anyway. Also, there's a street cleaning machine outside. I don't... Uh, I hope that you don't hear it. It's, like, really loud right now. But, yeah, last guy is a supernova in the basement. That was the broiler that I saw earlier. That was the big guy. And uh, we got it in the end. So, guys, well done. That was a 12-5 situation here. I think we did our part with the 700 damage that we did. Definitely. So, let's take a look. 717 done. We took 333. We have uh, 3 kill most damage dealt, 11 assists, no kill, but 4 components destroyed. And that, my friends, was the Hellbringer. That was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more daily content, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.